Welcome back gang. This is a video on the seal and cladding install. So check it out and hopefully it helps you out. So straight into the seal and cladding install. As you can see the first bit of cladding up there in the corner. As you'll see further on in the video, the, the cladding along this side of the ceiling was drilled and tapped into the structural members as all of that cladding piece is actually going to be behind stud walls or cupboards. So there's no need to use cladding clips on that part. It's good to have a partner when you're doing jobs like this. One person to hold the cladding and one to do any fixing or drilling. Get yourself a small hammer or rubber mallet. These are handy for when you're putting the cladding pieces together and just make sure the male end is seated inside of the female of the last cladding piece. Welcome back to the build. Uh, me and my glamour assistant are just putting the roof cladding on at the moment. So what we're using is this from B&Q, basically tongue groove cladding and these cladding clips. So, how we went about it is fix this end board in here with a self tapping screw as this is all going to be covered. So basically, once you slot the, the male side into the female, the cladding clip goes into the tongue groove like that and then I'm just pre-drilling the cladding clip and putting a self-tapping screw through. So we'll come to the middle section here, measure this so this the lights land on the joint of two cladding pieces. So basically what I'm doing here is join the two middle pieces of cladding together, putting a bracing or a metal brace on there. Now I've got these 13 millimeter self tapping screws which are going straight through the back. So what I'm doing is just putting a couple of washer packers underneath so it doesn't come through the other side. And I've already done it at that side there. So and now we are going to use a hole saw to cut the lights out and get this on the ceiling. So just continuing with the cladding on the ceiling here. Bit of a dilemma that behind the roof light here, there's not actually a structural member. So what I'm gonna do is, what I've done is attach these little angle brackets here. One that side and one that side. And I'm gonna attach that bit of wood sit it behind behind there so the, they're all flush attach them to the brackets and then I'll attach the cladding between here and the roof light with the cladding clips exactly the same way the cladding clips will go into this bit of cladding here so that's how I'm going to do it let's get it done alright peeps just going to be oiling the ceiling when I put up the other day got this Baratine wood protective treatment this is exterior oil paint actually got it for the decking but I'm going to use it inside I did sample it on the light brown on a bit of the spare offcut of the ceiling and this is actually just turned out a little bit too dark for what we want so I'm getting some clear also I'm gonna mix them to mix them together to get the 
color that I want and then I'm going to use this clear stuff on the cladding that is going around the bedroom because I don't actually want to darken that too much so yeah this is really good stuff you can get it from tool station you kind of get it from very many places but you can get this from tool station and it bleeds right into the wood as you can see here so it gives it a good soaking and it sort of gives you similar sort of protection of if you were going to go and buy tantalized timber so really good stuff it is quite expensive but you pay for what you get and it's going to make your van last or whatever you're using it for then it's worth using so let's get this mixed and on the ceiling So that was the ceiling cladding installed. As you see, I had the help of Jen for that. It's handy if you have <laughs> somebody to hold the cladding pieces up while you are drilling. Just to clarify, the drilled holes were through the structural members, which are at around 500 millimeter intervals across the length of the van. So you might not have seen, but the cladding pieces were hit and miss, so every other cladding piece will be the same cut and means that the ends of the cladding piece aren't all finishing in the same line and you'll have one big horrible line across the middle of your van so that's about it for that thanks for watching i hope this has helped you out and see you next time cheers